Hello and welcome in. This is my kitchen. I'm Mr. Robert. So let's go see what's cooking. Hey, thanks for dropping by my channel. Today it's all about the meat. You know, you've been there before. You fix a big pan of meatloaf on the weekend. Monday rolls around, meatloaf sandwich. Tuesday, meatloaf sandwich. You get tired of meatloaf sandwiches. But I don't like to throw food away, and I'm sure that you don't. And so I'll take some mushrooms and some onions and, I'm gonna, and some garlic, and I'm going to put them on the back burner for right now, and then we're going to... Uh, we're gonna make some gravy to put them in. So let's get started. So I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in here. It don't have to be a certain amount, just just put ever, however much you think that you need in there. And we'll give a little drizzle of olive oil. Okay, now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the garlic in here first, and don't cook the garlic too long. You just want them to uh, uh, get all those uh, flavors out of the garlic, and uh, I'm gonna put them aside. And we'll put them back in the, out back in the sauce when I get, when I get everything else wrapped up. So, and we're just gonna cook it on a medium heat, by the way. And over here, over here, I have uh, two cups of water that I dissolved one beef bouillon in that I'm going to use to make the gravy. Okay, now you don't want to cook this too long. You just want it to get those flavors out of there so it can meld with the onions and the mushrooms. So we're going to put them right in here just, to, just, just for a little while. I'm going to add them back in when we get finished. Okay, here we go with I got a half a cup. I got a half a cup of onions and about a three quarters cup of mushrooms. And I'm gonna saute these together like this. Okay, I'm gonna put these aside for right now. Now, I'm gonna drizzle some more olive oil in here. And a little bit of butter. cook this meatloaf this is a three meat meatloaf which is which is chicken pork and uh, beef and I mix them together and I put them in the pan and I just slathered it on the top with some ketchup that's all I did to it so you may not want to fix uh, those three meats together but this is what I like Okay, you're not going to want to cook the meatloaf because it's already done. You just want to warm it up a little bit with that, uh, that olive oil and that uh, butter in it. Uh, and then, like I say, there's two different ways that you can eat this meatloaf. You can eat it just with the onions and the mushrooms on top of it, 
or you can uh, add some gravy to it. Okay, if you were just going to stop without the gravy over it, here's one, uh, here's one way you can uh, serve it with just onions and mushrooms and some garlic. And this is okay too. So we'll just put that right over here. Along with the olive oil that's already in there, I'm gonna I'm gonna melt three tablespoons of butter, and then I'm gonna whisk in three tablespoons of flour, and then I'm gonna put two cups of beef broth. If you want to use something else, some other kind of broth, like chicken or even a vegetable, it's up to you, depending on what you like. Okay, I'm gonna start putting the flour in here. You want to stir it up really, really good so you don't have any, uh, you don't have any lumps in it. Who wants to eat lumpy gravy? But you want to make sure that the flour is all cooked up too. And you don't want to be tasting the flour. Basically making um, a roux. I've got my flour all cooked up. Now I'm going to add two cups of beef broth. I'm going to put a tablespoon of steak seasoning in here just to give it a little bit of color and a little bit more flavor. I probably don't need it, but I'm just going to try it out anyway. Okay, now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients back. Okay, get them all nice and warm. I'm going to put my garlic back in here. Now this should make for a very good sauce. Or gravy. Depending on how you look at it. Okay, here we go. Now. Meatloaf with the gravy on it. Okay, let's see how this tastes. Really good. This is a way to stretch your food dollar. Having meatloaf in another way without throwing it away wasting it. You know, sometimes you put something in the in your refrigerator and it stays there.
there for days and days and days. You say, oh, what is this? Well, it's too late to eat it then. So, that's better than a meatloaf sandwich. Anyway, that's all I got. I hope you, um, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're going to try this. It's really, really good.